The most recent Family Guy episode is so bad that it's already rated as the fourth worst ever in Family Guy history. And to put that into context, it means it's rated worse than when Stewie got pregnant, that time he got herpes, and even worse than that time that Peter fought Donald Trump. So is it really that bad? Well, yes, yes it is. But why? Let's get into it. The episode is called A Stash From The Past, and it opens with the Griffins at a flea market. Stewie buys a teapot from Bruce, which initiates their B-plot, but I'll get into that one a bit later on. Meanwhile, Peter is desperate to buy an original Mr. Potato Head from Dr. Hartman, but at $600, Lois tells him no. Yes? No, we don't have that kind of money. Back at home, Peter watches a commercial with actor Tom Selleck promoting reverse mortgages. This seems like a trick. I know this seems like a trick, but it's not a trick. And no, that's not the real Tom Selleck doing the voice, but I will give them props that I really couldn't tell the difference. Hi, I'm Tom Selleck. So, trusting Tom Selleck not to lie to him, Peter takes out a reverse mortgage, and with this extra dough, he manages to buy the Mr. Potato Head. I took out a reverse mortgage. Peter, how could you be so stupid? And as you'd expect, the bank soon comes a knocking and threatens to take his house, which he tells his bar chums about, and it's here where Mayor Wild West overhears and joins in. If you fellas would allow me to jaw at you a minute, I'll spin you a yarn. And I have to say, as soon as I saw him, I instantly groaned, because if you watched my last season review, then you'll know I absolutely hate Mayor Wild West. To reiterate, I find him to be the most boring character in the show. And his spotlight episode from season 21 titled Old West is ranked just above this one as the fifth worst episode of all time on IMDb. So why is he back? Luckily, I'm not alone, and many other fans also can't stand this character either. On the Reddit post discussion for this episode, someone wrote, I effing hate the new Mayor West, worst character in the show. Please stop with this BS. And another wrote, they gotta stop making these Mayor West episodes. They're terrible. In my opinion, I just find him so, so dull. No joke, I literally felt myself check it out when he went on and on going off into that long ass story. Open parenthesis, even if the crosswalk says stop, close parenthesis. And it is odd because Sam Elliott is great in his movies, but perhaps his voice just doesn't translate into doing voiceover work for cartoon shows, which I wouldn't blame him for. To be honest, I feel that strongly that I wish they'd just completely remove his character or at the very least stop giving him these big spotlight episodes. I mean, I do like the fact that they didn't just replace Mayor West with another wacky character, and instead went with a more serious, no-nonsense fella, but it just hasn't worked, and maybe the joke has just run its course. And come on, if both of your spotlight episodes featuring him are within the top 10 worst episodes rated of all time, then maybe it's just time to let the cowboy ride off into the sunset already. And this doesn't end with Wild West, it also extends to the other new characters in the show. Peter's new boss is also dull as hell, and I know that Doug was pretty unpopular too, and I mean, really unpopular. Which was perhaps the reason why they killed him off in the last season. Which begs the question, why is it so hard for the Family Guy writers to write new funny characters? Anyway, back to the story. Mayor West tells Peter that he and Selleck were once friends and in a band together, but after Tom started overdosing on multivitamins, they drifted apart, so therefore Mayor West offers to accompany Peter to track down Tom to get his money back. And once in New York, they follow a trail of black haired eye to Tom's house and confront him. And there was actually one joke here that did make me laugh, which was this one. Hey, NYPD, yeah, it's Chief whatever my character's name is from Blue Bloods. And the writers must have known that this is their one decent joke because they repeat it again later. Chief whatever your character's name is from Blue Bloods, do you recognize this man? And speaking of jokes, they are few and far between here. They were basically non-existent, unfunny, or just plain confusing. Also, that joke about Harry and Meghan Markle may have worked if it came before the South Park episode, which did it a million times better. Therefore, making this one come across super tame and stale by comparison. It just kind of feels by this point that the writers were lazily coming out with things and they instantly got slapped onto the script. So, Tom Selleck gets Peter and West arrested, and how do they break out of jail? Well, 
which just talks into the lock and it instantly opens. How did you do that? Well, this ain't the first leg to which I've pitched woo. Okay, well, whatever. I don't care by this point as we're almost to the end of the episode. Therefore, them making this really quick escape is basically our way of escaping this episode. So yay! Now Luz, Peter and West confront Selick on the set of Blue Bloods, and Tom feels a tiny morsel of regret. Blah blah blah, gives Peter a check for the money he lost, blah blah blah, but then he still refuses to stop doing reverse mortgage commercials. Again, absolutely boring, and it's bound to be because the idea of basing an entire story about those Tom Selleck commercials is a odd choice to say the least, especially because I doubt many of Family Guy's viewers even realised that these were based on real commercials. I mean, I certainly didn't, but maybe I'm alone because I'm only condemned to British commercials, but who knows? Did you recognise these commercials? Now, let's move over to the B-plot of the episode that focuses on Stewie and Brian selling antiques at a flea market. While there, they go head to head with Bruce in a competition of who can sell the most, with the loser leaving the flea market business for good. This section of the episode didn't produce as many laughs as I thought it would, except for this bit, which was rather funny. There was a dead cricket in the teapot you sold me. Oh no! I know! We've seen Stewie and Brian team up to start a business together so many times now, like selling taffy or opening up a B&B together, so therefore this episode did feel a little been there done that. But it would have been totally fine if they actually did anything with this idea, but they didn't. I was also really excited to see Stewie interacting with Bruce because these two characters have never actually really spoken properly before and I thought they would really bounce off each other really well and produce some funny moments, but no, not really. And the way Stewie wins is equally underwhelming, with someone just dumping trash next to Bruce's stool. It was a pretty crappy resolution to their competition. Maybe instead it would have been a bit better if Stewie or Brian sabotaged Bruce themselves because they were so desperate to win. Just an idea, but probably more thought than the writers actually put into it themselves. But I'll throw them a bone and say that the voiceover of Chris saying that he was locked in the car was... mildly funny. I'm Chris Griffin, and my brother and my dog left me in a very hot car. And one thing that did really bother me was the fact that we didn't see Bruce's baby. Because if you remember, Bruce was a big part of the season premiere where Meg was a surrogate for him and his husband. And of course, just like many of you predicted down in my comments, the baby was nowhere to be seen ever again. Which, you know, I wasn't really surprised about, but at the same time, he had just had a baby two episodes ago. How hard would it have been to see his husband and his baby in the background somewhere? Just give me a small crumb of continuity, family guy. Just a measly little morsel to show that you care. Please, that's all I ask. Am I being crazy here? Why do an entire story where Bruce gets a kid and then not even show the kid only two episodes later? It just feels like Family Guy is knocking out these episodes without having any real fun with what they've done before. Anyway, I will say that the play-by-play -play commentary is a funny idea, with them acting like the competition is a sports game. But again, a funny idea in theory, but it was poorly executed because their rivalry wasn't played up enough. And while it definitely wasn't as boring as their main plot, they didn't go anywhere fun with this idea. Like, at all. I mean, the idea of Stewie selling antiques at a flea market does sound funny on paper, right? I mean, he's an intelligent baby, he can really get into the details of antiques, but it was just so boring. And I know, I've overused this word a lot in this video, just like Family Guy has done with their jokes, but it just so perfectly describes this entire episode. I really did have trouble deciding if this was a one star or two star episode, because it's definitely not the worst Family Guy episode I've ever seen, but it commits an even bigger sin. It's completely forgettable. At least with Herbie the Love Store and Stewie's Ensemble, they're at least memorable for how horrific they are, whereas this episode is just so plain and so boring, and I can confidently say that I will never watch this episode ever again. Therefore, I give this episode a one star. We are only three episodes in and so far this season has been completely lacklustre. 
Now the first episode was decently good, but the second one was more mediocre, and this one is just plain bad. But saying that, we are still really early into season 23, so let's just hope that things will start to pick up from here. So, what did you think of the episode? And what do you think of Mayor Wild West? Or am I being too harsh? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.